Hey there, people. So today I'm doing something a little unusual, a little tutorial on uh, how to create your own mods. Uh, this might be your first baby steps into creating mods for PC. In this case, I'm going to tell you about how to create, extract, open, edit VPK files for Valve Source Engine games. There's quite a few of those, of course. Uh, this was a viewer request, actually. So VPK files are a lot like zip files. They're simply an archive containing a bunch of other file types and folders, but they're optimized, of course, for the games. Um, when you create a VPK file, which is the, the file type that Valve uses to store a lot of their content, also the kind that um, the modders, like hopefully yourself, an aspiring modder, <laughs> are uh, going to use to store your own custom content. Uh, so the folder structure needs to match the game's own files, so poke around in the files of the game if you want to... Uh, find that out it's going to vary game by game but um, there's a bunch of supported games that use these files that use the source engine such as alien swarm counter-strike source csgo day of defeat source dota 2 gary's mod half-life source half-life 2 left 4 dead 1 and 2 portal 1 and 2 team fortress 2 and a surprise, Titanfall actually uses a, a variation of the source engine. There's probably others that I've missed. So there's two ways that you can open and deal with uh, VPK files. I'm going to tell you about the first one because it comes with a lot of the games and also because it's the only way that you can actually um, create them. So this is the vpk.exe utility uh, that comes with a lot of the games. Uh, you're advised to use the copy that came with the game that you want to mod if possible. So you're gonna wanna go into your Steam folder, um, look under Steam apps, common, uh, then pick the game that you're looking for. Of course, not all games use Source Engine, but uh, it does come with some of the Source Engine games, including Left 4 Dead 1. It actually doesn't come with Left 4 Dead 2, but let me get to that in a second. Uh, so it's included out of the games that I have anyway, it's included with Gary's Mod, Left 4 Dead 1, the original Portal, and Team Fortress 2. It's found under, as I say, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, the game name, and then Bin, and you'll find it right here, vpk.exe. Now you can use it right from here, uh, or you can create a shortcut to it, and this is where it gets a little easier to use than you might think. Uh, as I said, it's a command line tool. If you're comfortable with the command line, go at it. Uh, if you're not, uh, let me show you an easier way to do it. I should also mention though, it's not included with CSGO, Left 4 Dead 2, or Portal 2, uh, possibly others, but it can be downloaded separately. Um, so let me show you that first before we get into how to use it. I uh, brought up Steam here. So if you're in Steam and you have one of those other games, uh, that you want to work with. Uh, now, personally, I've used the Left 4 Dead 1 uh, version of the tool for making Left 4 Dead 2 stuff, but uh, you'll want to go in under Library and Tools if you need to. And there's all kinds of stuff in here, but there are uh, there's the Source SDK is one way that you can get it in here. There are also, um, so that's right there, there are also specific, like the Left 4 Dead 2 authoring tools uh, Left 4 Dead authoring tools and Left 4 Dead 2 authoring tools. So if you install the authoring to tools, it will be included with that, presumably. <laughs> um, and there's also SDKs like Half-Life has an SDK. Uh, CSGO uh, should be in here. Yeah, Counter-Strike, Go, SDK. So if you install one of those, it should have a copy in there as well. But getting back to uh, how to use it, um, basically, there's an easy way to do this. So vpk.exe, see I've got a couple of vpks. If I want to open one of these, extract one of these, um, these are a couple that I created actually. So I can actually just drag that onto the executable and there we go. It actually extracted that for me automatically. Another thing you can do is just right click on that and copy and put a shortcut wherever you like. Um, so I have a utilities folder uh, you can put one on your desktop, whatever you want to do, and just paste a shortcut, right click, paste shortcut, and then you can do the same thing, just, I've got my other one here, if I want to extract that, I can just drag that onto the shortcut instead of the executable. So uh, in both cases that'll work. Now I'm going to go ahead and delete those because I'm going to show you how to make the, S the uh, VPK files as well using a similar approach. So I've got my vocalizer, let's say I want to go in here and I change something in here. Again, there's all kinds of different file types, so I'm not going to get into how to actually create the files for the mods. It depends on which game you're dealing with. Um, but you'll notice there's a, a folder structure like, um, you know, these are basically from the uh, root of the actual game files. So there's configs and scripts. If I go into my uh, 
this one it has a sound folder because those are the folders that are that are part of that game so uh, again not going to get into that too much though but let's say i made a change in here i'd save that and then i want to update my vpk again i can just instead of dragging the vpk i can drag the folder onto that shortcut and there you go creates a vpk file for you just like that um, so it's it's actually a lot simpler than you might think. You will have to look into how to edit the different kinds of files and what you need for the folder structure and all that. As I say, I, I can't go into that for all the different games. Um, but that's a, a really dead easy way to both extract a VPK and to create a VPK. Now you can also use this tool here called GCF Scape. This is for opening, extracting, browsing only. It does not create them as far as I can. I'm aware, um, but it gives you a nice little like Windows style uh, browse utility here. So I can open a VPK in there and it gives you, you know, the folder structure and you can right click and extract. You can extract from any level kind of thing. Uh, so that's another way you can do it as well. I'll include the link to that tool if you want to use it. Um, and the website for that also has some other tools related to, to modding Valve's games. Uh, I think I got VTF edit from there possibly, um, which I think I used to create a spray at one point. I don't know. It's been there a while, but uh, that's my basic tutorial. That's the easy way to open extract uh, VPKs as well as create them. And uh, I hope you like the video. Thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know if you need some details on this or that. And otherwise, I'll see you next time. Bye for now.